Hello， 大家好，欢迎来到洛杉矶华人资讯网的直播现场，我是主播莉亚。华人患有近视的人呢，是绝大多数啊。当你的度数高过700度的时候，或者是你的角膜不够健康的时候，你可能就没有办法做像 LASIK、PRK 或者是 Smile 这样的激光手术了。那这个时候呢，医生就会给你推荐一种全新的治疗方法，叫做 EVO ICL。这个 ICL 呢，它是晶体植物的一种方式，但是呢，晶体手术啊，可能很多人就不够了解了。它是一种新的手术，到底有哪些步骤呢？今天我们邀请到的是来自美国德州休斯顿的顶级眼科专家 Dr. Fred m a t i o l i 他拥有22年丰富的从医经验，是休斯顿大学手术中心的资深专家，同时呢，也是休斯顿排名第一诊所 m a t i o l i Visions Professional by IQ Laser Vision 的创始人，同时品牌所属 IQ Laser Vision Network 是北美地区实操 EVO ICL 手术。专利最多的诊所。那今天呢 ，Dr. m a t t i o l i 将为我们分享 EVO ICL 以及高度近视治疗的办法。Hello, Dr. m a t t i o l i Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Leo. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Ah,、uh, so could you please start by explaining what EVO ICL is and how does it work? Ah,、uh, especially how does it work differently from other procedures like LASIK or PRK? Oh yeah, sure. So. Um, you know, all of these are great procedures to treat refractive, what we call refractive areas. So prescriptions, farsighted, nearsighted, astigmatism, all these things have different ways to be treated. And、uh, if we're using lasers, that would be LASIK, PRK, Smile, those types of procedures that are done on the outside of the eye. Another set of procedures we have are what we call lens implants, and these we put inside the eye. So Evo ICL is one type of lens implant. But it's the only type of lens implant that we can add to the eye and not have to remove the old lens. We have a natural lens inside the eye. In other procedures, we can remove that and then put a different lens in. But the nice thing about Evo ICL is that it's an addition. We add it to the eye.、Mm. It essentially is a implantable columnar lens, is what it means. ICL. Most people think of it as an implantable contact lens because it looks like a contact、yeah. lens. Yeah, like a contact lens. It's small, it's flexible, and because it goes inside the eye, it doesn't do any harm to the outside, to the cornea, like dry eye or you know, if you've worn contact lenses like I did for many years, the eye gets dry. They start to feel like I've got a rock or sand or dirt in my eye. So because this goes inside the eye, we don't have any of that. Everything goes inside. So. Put in your prescription for nearsightedness, and if you have astigmatism, well, we can correct that with Evo ICL as well, all at the same time. Got it. So, what makes Evo ICL particularly effective for correcting severe myopia, like myself? Yes.、Uh, yes.、Yeah. So, you are getting the best vision possible, Leah, with the Evo ICL for sure. There's nothing that comes close to that. So, lasers here、uh, that I've used in the past can treat up to 14. Of LASIK minus fourteen, nobody should be doing anything close to that anymore. Really, since two thousand and five, when the U.S. had approved the、uh, ICL, the, the version prior to Evo. Evo has been here now about two two and a half years, I think, which was another improvement upon that. So, Evo ICL can be used to treat all the way from minus three, so pretty low myopia, up to twenty two and really beyond. We can we can still reduce the myopia considerably. So, really, for high prescriptions like yours,、mm-hmm. and and even lower ones, the quality of vision is unsurpassed. But remember, we're adding this lens to the eye to the system how the light and vision gets produced, versus anything else where we are either removing tissue and replacing it, or as in the case of laser treatments, we're just removing tissue from the cornea. So.、Mm-hmm. That can, especially in high prescriptions, lead to unwanted side effects:、uh, dryness, glare, halos, things that,、uh, that you know these Evo ICL have essentially made so great. Ninety-nine point nine percent of patients would have the procedure again. So that's、yeah. high satisfaction. Got it. So, can you talk about the safety profile and the recovery process for Evo ICL, and what、uh, can patients expect it、uh, during the recovery period? Yeah, absolutely. So, let me start with the surgery itself because a lot of people, you know, the results are fantastic, but then they say, "Well, I don't really know, understand what's happening."、Yeah. 
yeah. in the surgery. The surgery goes like this. We put numbing drops on the eye, so there's no injections, needles, nothing crazy. It's just to numb the surface of the eye. And we dilate the pupil because this lens, ICL, UOICL, goes right behind the colored part of the eye, mm -hmm. the iris. And so right behind the pupil. And this is all done, again, with the topical drops, a little bit of an anesthetic. It stings for five seconds, and then you don't feel anything else, okay? Because that lens is immediately put in front of you, patients all of a sudden can see the microscope light that I keep telling them to focus on. Now it's in focus instantly. Mm -hmm. And the entire procedure for me and my staff takes us about six minutes per eye. So it's very, very quick. Now, at the end of that 15 minutes, patients will stand up. They can already see across the room. They see their family observing through our uh, operating room suite windows. And it, it's am it's truly amazing. And you know, because you are, you've had it done. So you yeah. can see pretty much instantly. So the recovery is actually pretty quick. Um, most people by the next day are already driving or, you know, depending on what kind of work they're doing, they can go back to work. Um, the day of the treatment, though, we just ask people just go home and rest. Um, yeah, they'll, they'll, you know, not have any work scheduled or anything like that. Now, over time, over that first week, I just want you to take things easy. But after about the first week or so, um, people are back at the gym working out. They're, you know, pretty much going back to their normal activities. And um, the the treatment incision that we place this lens through is so small that it just closes on its own. So we don't mm -hmm. need to put stitches or anything like that. Pretty amazing. Got it. So uh, from my experience. I, I almost fell asleep so during the procedure. So I can't remember, you know, I can't recall how fast it is, but uh, yeah. there's no pain. I can guarantee that. Um, and next question is, how does the EVO ICL compare to the previous generation of ICL lenses? Yeah, so there was a significant improvement. As great as the ICL uh, was, and I trained in 2000, um, in 1999 to 2000 with a um, world-renowned ref uh, ICL refractive surgeon in South America, and they were already on multiple versions of ICL. So when the U.S. in 2005 was approved and we started doing that lens here, it was a two-step procedure. We had to create... Um, a path in the colored part of the eye and then place the lens. Mm. Evo created that path right within the lens itself. Keep in mind the fluid inside the eye has to continue to flow and this is a much more normal natural pathway for fluid in the eye to flow than from the incisions or the openings we used to make ourselves as surgeons. Evo in the last couple of years here in the US um, really reflected the last 10 years of EVO internationally. So the rest of the world, our colleagues and, and other parts of the world have been doing EVO for 10 years. When those results were published and the FDA did our study here in the US, 10 years later, the results were almost identical. I, I've never seen two separate studies look so close mm -hmm. alike, meaning side effects were minimal. Um, the stability was incredible because a lot of these are high prescriptions with astigmatism. Mm -hmm. uh, the clarity of the lens, the patient satisfaction, and, and, the, quali and the, um, the visual acuity is how well patients can see. All the safety profiles were extremely similar to 10 years worth of data. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're very excited to get it and, and we do a lot of the ICLs. We get referred a lot of patients who uh, were told they aren't, aren't candidates for LASIK or other procedures. And, um, and so we have the, the pleasure and the, the, the honor of doing these types of procedures for patients who really, really need it. As, as you know, minus 12, you can't really do anything without your vision correction. Exactly. Either. So it's, it's a, we like to say it's new vision freedom. Got it. So could you please explain the process of measuring the eye and sizing the lens for EVO ICL procedure? Because, you know, Asian patients, they often have smaller eye spaces in their eye. And how do you manage this to ensure a success? So that's probably the most important uh, feature of the ICL. It comes in four different sizes because all of us have, you know, slightly different size. Uh, well, actually considerably different sized eyes. Mm -hmm. but. The EVO ICLs come in different sizes so that we can um, implant them the best one for each particular eye. Um, so the way to there's several ways to measure 
uh, these um, what we call the the length between the white to white. So from one part of the white part of the mm -hmm. eye to the other part, and um, that can be done with uh, ultrasound technology. Mm -hmm. it, can be done with chime flug technology or um, topography or tomography technology. It can actually be done with manual calipers, digital calipers that can measure very precisely the uh, distance needed. So uh, perhaps the most accurate is uh, ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And there's also uh, different types of optical uh, um, technology that can give us more precision on that. So that's probably the most important factor. And we have multiple different um, instruments here in the office that we use to measure so we can get as, you know, as accurate as possible. We want it to be the right size. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put a, a glove on that's, you know, too tight and you don't want to wear a glove that's too loose. So we yeah. try to get it just right. And the lens itself is being very tolerant, right? Because you said you have a hole to let the fluid, um, you know, naturally go over around your eye. That's right. That's one of the one of the. Um, it actually has multiple holes, but the one in oh. the center mm -hmm. is you know, the one we can see, and we can, uh, you know, you, that's where the uh, majority of the fluid will will travel through. Just like a pupil, it just happens to be smaller. Um, so yeah, so that's very important for the natural flow. We think that helps reduce things like uh, pressure buildup in the eye or uh, cataract formation or other things that were, although very uncommon, even less so now with EVO. Got it. And um, I have a friend, she asked me if I can choose a color for EVO ICL lens because she thought it could be like contact lenses and have you change your color of the pupil. It's not true, right? <laughs> that, that's a great question. Um, that it, yeah, that is not true. And because it sits behind the colored part of the eye, mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't be practical to make something a colored ICL because it's behind the color already. Got it. And if a patient uh, has undergone like evil ICL surgery like myself, uh, how might this impact my eligibility for my future procedures such as blunt vision or refractive lens exchange, I mean, when I'm older? Correct, yes. Yeah. So the good thing about the uh, EVO procedure and the EVO ICL is that it's removable. So we can remove it at any time if it is too small or too big or if it's the prescription is not is way, way off, which almost never happens. Or as you said, if you get older and now presbyopia or cataracts later on in life and you need to have cataract surgery, mm -hmm. the, another great thing about the EVO is that it can, uh, it can be removed and the other procedures can be done right after that. The main advantage of that is that, again, we added something to the eye. We didn't take anything. So when we go to do our calculations for a wet lens implant, a refractive lens exchange or a permanent prescription lens replacement that you might need later in life, cataract surgery, those calculations are as accurate as they would have been had you never had ICL surgery. Future that's like that, LASIK, lasers, all these things that change curvature and, and um, remove tissue from the eye in one way or another affects our um, capability of being the most accurate on, on the lens implant. You know, the other thing is if we get to that or when we get to those days where they need to be removed for cataract surgery, it can all be done in the same surgery. Mm -hmm. So they can be removed in, in two minutes and cataract surgery can follow and in 15 minutes your, your treatment is done. Got it. So even though after 20 years with EVO inside your eye, it won't stick with your eye tissue or anything else, it can still be removed. That's correct. I've never seen a single report where it could not be removed or that it stuck to the to the eyes. Yes, it's very, it's, it's probably the most natural, the closest to the most natural uh, elements and material that you can get to the eye. Got it. So even though it is permanent, but actually you can remove it. So that's a very good thing. Um, are there any uh, ideas about EVO ICL you wanted to tell about us? Um, I think the important things to know are that patients who were have been told, you know, they weren't candidates for LASIK or mm -hmm. SMILE or PRK or they're too old or too young um, or their prescription is, is too high. It's, it's so bad. There's nothing that can be done for you. I'm so sorry. Those are the things that I want to make sure patients understand. 
it's unlikely. Almost mm -hmm. everybody is a candidate for some type of procedure, and ICL covers, it's extremely broad. We can cover a lot of uh, prescription and patients' needs just with the Evo ICL. So in the United States, it's approved for nearsightedness, myopia, and uh, with or without astigmatism. Um, and uh, and so, yeah, I just encourage people to come and, and just see. It doesn't cost anything. It's, uh, you know, it's an, a full, it's a thorough eye exam, probably the most thorough eye exam you've had in your life. Mm -hmm. Because as surgeons, we want to make sure we know exactly where we're sitting before we touch anybody's eyes. Thank you so much, Dr. Madioli, for sharing your expertise with us today. And just like you said, uh, if you have any concerns or questions, the best way to know that, you know, is to go for a consultation. And if you wanted to book for a consultation, uh, it's very easy. You can call the number 713-776-3937. 对于那些说中文的朋友呢, 去免费咨询一下呢 Thank you so much, Dr. Mattioli. I want to see you next episode. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Bye-bye.